We all have a story to tell. But the only way our story is ever heard is if we overcome our go-through and arrive at our breakthrough. See, we fall. We break. We fail. And then we rise. We heal. And we overcome. So you don't think you can come back and win? My mom died when I was four years old. And you don't think you can come back and win? I grew up with a mentally abusive stepmom. Mentally beat me down, broke me down, battered and bruised me. You don't think you can come back and win? I was a shy, introverted kid, got bullied, got so bad one time I was running through the field, kids chased me down, punched me in my stomach, picked me up, body slammed me, drugged me to a swimming pool, threw me in the water and kept holding me up under the water, held me up under the water. I thought I was gonna die. The last second they pulled me up. I was trying to catch my breath. So you don't think you can come back and win? I sold crack cocaine as a teenager. Dang near went to the penitentiary. Wasn't for the grace of God, I would have been in the penitentiary. Whole life would have been different. So you don't think you can come back and win? I had four kids out of wedlock. Crazy part about it is, I wind up raising them by myself. Three girls and a boy. I was a single dad. Messed my credit up. But you don't think you can come back and win? Because you're dealing with whatever adversity you're dealing with in your life. We all have a story to tell. But the only way our story is ever heard is if we overcome our go-through and arrive at our breakthrough. See, we fall. We break. We fail. And then we rise. We heal. And we overcome. I was coaching a girls basketball team. We were losing 29 to 4 in a major AAU championship game. And we found a way to fight, scratch, and claw and come back and win that game. I'm telling you right now to your face, no matter what you're going through in your life, you have everything you need inside to pick yourself up, fight, scratch and claw and come back and win in your game of life. See, each and every one of us will face something, will go through something. Challenges are what make life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. The greater the obstacle, the more glory in overcoming it. But let me make this practical for you and give you a few tips, a few steps to help you come back and win in your game of life. Number one, adjust. You have to make the necessary adjustments. Right now, it's not going the way you want it to go. A lot of it has to do with the outside influences, but a lot of it has to do with you. So you gotta sit your butt down and you gotta decide what changes do I need to make in my life? You have to make the adjustments. Number two, don't scoreboard watch. You got to keep driving. Through all the bad weather, through all the bad roads, you got to keep driving. Keep that foot on the gas, but don't look at every mile marker. Celebrate the wins, but let the wins come and keep driving to the next win and keep driving to the next win. And finally, execute. Ten toes down. You have your game plan. You have the adjustments you need to make. Execute. And if you fail, revise and execute again. But keep driving until you arrive at your desired destination of next level greatness, your desired destination of next level success. And if you don't think you can come back and win, I'm telling you right now, look at me, listen to me. Yes, you can, because this little boy came back and won in his game of life. I heard a wise person say, the most successful people 
see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. Greatness lives in you. You just gotta get started. You just gotta believe in your heart of hearts that you can come back and win, because you can. And once you subscribe to that mindset, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. <laughs> Let's go.